Hello everyone and uh, welcome uh, to our program. My name is Roberto Miranda and I am with you on behalf of uh, Covenant for New England. And uh, in this program we have Jeff uh, Marks uh, with us from uh, New England Concerts of Prayer. Welcome Jeff. Thank and you, uh, we are here to speak about prayer and uh, the importance of prayer and what God is doing here in this nation and other parts of the world, uh, mobilizing believers to pray and to usher in his presence and his intervention, which is so badly needed in these times that we are living. Uh, Jeff, um, I know that you just came from a trip to Indonesia where yes. God did amazing things there. And that was the World the Prayer um, Assembly. Assembly. Mm -hmm. Would you just give us a quick uh, summary of what happened uh, in that uh, yes, amazing we had, uh, event? We had 10,000 people, uh, 81 nations represented. Of course, there was a lot of Asian there and also African, so uh, European and uh, um, and North Americans were kind of in a minority, but it was just extraordinary what's happened in, in Indonesia. They've had a tremendous revival, and their their growth has been uh, from 5%, and I can't really share how mm -hmm. much. But it's, been, it's dramatic. It so, is. I mean, it's you told me, and it's uh, absolutely spectacular. The most dramatic I've ever heard of, actually. Yeah. And they have what are called prayer towers all over the uh, islands, uh, those are 24-7 uh, prayers, uh, often in a high place, like an office building, mm -hmm. the top floor, where we had uh, the one, that, the, uh, the uh, prayer tower that was supporting the conference. And it really draws the spirit tremendously because 60 people are praying an hour. Mm. So I, Just I, like in America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you think that that can happen in America? Just quickly, what, what do you, how do you feel about that? I know that, I mean, the, in a place like Indonesia, which is probably the largest uh, Muslim country in the world, mm -hmm. one would think it's almost impossible to have that kind of mm -hmm. breakthrough. And uh, I, I think if God can do it in Indonesia, we know, of course, that he can do it here. But there's a yeah. connection, evidently, between prayer and that kind of a breakthrough. Yes, uh, and I think we have a possibility. Uh, we're calling for as Dave will share in a moment, uh, f for uh, 40 days of 24-7 prayer for the election. And I know there's some mm -hmm. in the area going mm -hmm. on here with Bethany and others uh, right now, but I think uh, the desperation, I think we Christians feel uh, desperate because yeah. of the moral yeah. situation in our nation. It seems like it's just getting worse and worse. Yeah, every day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's really horrible to watch the news anymore. Uh, you see the moral decline, but also the massacres. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like one a day almost. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's creating a situation uh, like the Indonesians had with the tsunami that uh, it may you know, mobilize us, and I'm hoping this program will help others spread the word for uh, New England that we'll play our part. Yeah, I just read a reading a book right now by Rhonda Huey, entitled uh, "Desperate uh, for mm -hmm. His Presence," and mm -hmm. she speaks about just the need for God's presence to uh, come into our churches, into our nation, and mm -hmm. that being the the seed and the foundation for revival and renewal. And I think that's what prayer can do: usher in that presence of God that's and right. the intervention of the Holy Spirit. I think it's the only thing that can turn our nation around at this point. Yeah, Nothing I, else. I, I do too. And I, I think it can. And I think if people are faithful to this call, uh, we may see some differences. Uh, if this, Because right at the end of the conference, Dave uh, Butts, the president of the National Prayer Committee, uh, was meeting with the regional leaders from North America. And he, he looked at us from uh, America in particular and he said, uh, God told me that we should have 40 days of prayer for the election 24-7. Uh, and that just went through me like mm -hmm. an arrow because I, I just knew the uh, importance of what he was saying. Yeah, I have a sense of your answer, what, would, what it would be. But uh, why does there seem to be this urgency at this point, uh, before this election in particular? What makes it so critical just for our viewers? to? Well, I think the moral that. tone, the economic tone uh, we're so far in debt and in my opinion some mistakes that are being made on the economic level are sinking economy but more the moral and uh, I think we've seen what God thinks about it uh, by all the disasters we've had uh, just this year alone we've had tornadoes we've had floods we have forest fires going on massacres uh, that are absolutely yeah the massacres and, and uh, nation 
Never, I, I've never seen it like this, this yeah. decline. So I think, I think uh, that the church will, will get the message, I hope, and really get that desperation. Yeah. Well, I know that we are scheduled to uh, speak with uh, Dave uh, Butts. Of, uh, the, um, he's the president of National Prayer Committee, uh, as you've mentioned. And he's a man who has uh, done a lot of strategic mobilization of the church, not just here in America, but all over the world regarding this issue of prayer. And I think you're right, we are living in momentous times. Mm -hmm. And uh, like never before, the church needs to be aware of uh, its priorities. And prayer absolutely is the foundation of so many things that God can do in our nation. Well, we have uh, Dave Butts on the phone right now. Dave, welcome to our program. Thank you so much for agreeing to uh, be interviewed with us. Thank you. It's great to be with you. Um, please uh, let us know a bit about uh, the 40 days of uh, prayer. Why do you think that this is such an important uh, process for Christians in New England to engage in and all over the nation? What are you doing to mobilize believers in this sense? Well, I'll tell you, it is, uh, it's amazing to see the response that is happening all over the nation uh, regarding this call to prayer. I've spent 20 years calling people to prayer, and uh, you typically just find a few faithful who who respond, but we're seeing something very unique happen, and I think it has to do with the nature of where we are as a nation right now. Uh, there's a great deal of discouragement. Uh, there's uh, anxiety and fear and worry and sometimes even anger uh, regarding uh, the direction of our nation and where we're going, and people aren't quite sure what to do with that. Uh, even the election itself, when they look at it, they're frustrated sometimes about the choices that they have. And what is what I believe God is doing with this election process is teaching the church that ultimately we've got to depend upon Him. That that more than who's in the White House, it's who's in your house. It's what what uh, what God is desiring to do with His people. Hmm. One of the things that I believe is very, very critical about this call to prayer is that even though it is around the elections, and it's you know, literally starting September 28th, 40 days before the election, including Election Day, November 6th, we're calling people to 40 days and nights of unrelenting intercession, of praying as never before, and though it's around the election, it's not even really about the election. It's really more about the Church. It's about the people of God humbling themselves and praying and crying out. In a very real sense, what we're praying about is revival. So what you're what saying, Dave, asking, is that really a lot of this has to begin with the Church. This uh, time it of really prayer does. should usher in uh, not just a change in our nation, but also, uh, God willing, revival and a change of attitude and belief on the part of the Church itself. That is exactly the case, and that's where I think we're finding the spiritual traction, if you will, across the nation. People are grabbing a hold of this and understanding, you know, God called us, the Lord Jesus called us to be salt and light wherever we are, whatever culture, whatever nation, and we have not been that. Uh, just We just have to be very, very honest Indeed. that in spite of yes. all that we've done, we've, we've not really affected our nation the way that, it, that we ought to have. And what we need right now is for the Lord to show up in the midst of His people. We need a great awakening. We need revival. We need the Church to learn to depend upon the Lord and not on our own strength, or not to look to Washington for the answers. And so I'm finding a great response as the people of God are beginning to focus on, on the Lord and cry out to Him. And we're just calling the nation to pray. And it's interesting, we're not saying, here's this plan or here's that plan. We're saying everybody needs to do something, not a program. It's a lifestyle. And we're sending people to a website, uh, 40daysofprayer.net. You know, that's 440, 40daysofprayer.net. 40daysofprayer.net, okay. And that's a place where people can go and get downloads of prayer events and activities. Uh, there's a devotional that will be available coming to people uh, anytime soon. Uh, there are about uh, 15 different prayer uh, themes and focus events that are going on, and all of those links are out there at that site. It's kind of a, a one-site catches-all uh, for this sort of, of uh, time of prayer for the nation. 
Well, we will certainly uh, be uh, encouraging people to uh, connect uh, with that uh, website, 40daysofprayer.net. Now, I know yeah. that uh, this uh, process of prayer is also connected to a big event that's going to be taking place in Philadelphia. I believe it's that's September right. 28th or 29th. Would you tell us just briefly about that? Yes, it's called America for Jesus. And some of, uh, some of the older ones who are watching, listening, uh, might remember the America for Jesus on the Mall back in 1980. And, and it, absolutely the same, the same organizers have sensed from God the need for the nation to once again assemble, this time in, in uh, the cradle of, of uh, independence for us uh, in Philadelphia. And on Friday night, the 28th of September, and all day Saturday, the 29th, uh, we're going to be gathering in a solemn assembly to seek the Lord, to worship, to pray, to cry out to Him, once again asking for revival in the nation. And uh, we're just hoping that there will be thousands and thousands who will gather with us uh, on the, the uh, Independence Mall in Philadelphia. Well, that's exciting, uh, Dave. We will certainly be encouraging our people here in New England uh, to uh, get in touch uh, with both of these uh, events uh, we thank the Lord for you, for uh, your steadfastness and uh, vision to get the people of God praying. I, I so agree with you that um, only prayer can bring us out of uh, this uh, difficult situation that we find ourselves in. Maybe God is precisely waiting until we get so desperate for His intervention and His presence that we bow at His feet and uh, put aside every other kind of programming just to seek Him, His glory, His presence, His intervention in yes. our nation. We bless you and uh, we bless this process uh, that you are engaging in and certainly we will be doing our part here to encourage the church to engage in this uh, time of prayer. God bless you and strengthen you and uh, our best to you. I look forward to a much more uh, extended conversation with you in the future. God bless I look you. forward to it. Thank you so much. Take Thank good you. care, Dave. Bye-bye. Well, we enjoyed hearing from David Butts. He's been a friend of mine for a long time. I've been part of the uh, National Prayer Committee and watched his uh, ministry evolve uh, over the years, and God has really used him. And I think this is uh, the most important calling that he's ever had because he's calling our nation to pray at a very crucial time. And uh, I was excited. I hadn't heard from him uh, the results recently that uh, so many people are responding all over the nation because people are feeling as we are that yeah. this is this is the time. And uh, I don't think we need uh, any reminders uh, yeah. of where we are right now. It's very clear in every area of the, this nation's life. Yeah. So I think it's a good moment to call the people of God into prayer. Yeah, and I, I think that I think there is a readiness, and uh, we're just believing God because it's ultimately in God's hands, but I think he's going to put a, something in us. Any thoughts on what we might be able to do here in New England? Uh, he, I know that there's all kinds of suggestions in the website and so on, but uh, I know we've, we're both veterans of a lot of different events and uh, situations here. Any, any uh, suggestions as to how we might be able to really take advantage of this moment and uh, do something concrete here to mobilize the church? Well, my, my suggestion was that... Uh, to get the word out through to as many contacts as we all have so they know and, and they can be praying alone mm -hmm. in their region uh, simultaneously. And I believe they'll sense the spirit just as we are. So I, I think that'll be one. And, and to also note that they don't have to do the whole 24-7. They can mm -hmm. take pieces of it mm -hmm. individually, churches, uh, groups of churches, yes. Yes. and perhaps we can organize some kind of event uh, in the region to encourage this. Uh, I think it's a, it's a great time, an opportunity to get uh, some of the, these pastors in New England who have got, gathered over the years uh, for solemn assemblies and so on, just to bring the people of God into some sort of massive uh, gathering and, and uh, to inter intercede. So uh, I think we should be planning yes. something like that very mm -hmm. soon, mm -hmm. very soon. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Jeff, it's, it's a joy to spend time with you. It's always encouraging for me to hear what God is doing in your life. And uh, I, I'm only sorry that we don't have a whole day to just to pick your brain and your spirit about all the things that God has been doing, particularly this, uh, the things that he has done in Indonesia are absolutely extraordinary. What God is doing in Africa and China, uh, now he needs to do it in America. And nothing is too difficult for him. 
So we thank you for your steadfastness in prayer. Look forward to being in touch with you soon. I want to have you back for a longer period of time just to talk about uh, how God is moving here and in your life and the things that he's doing through your travel. So thank you so much for being with us. And uh, we thank you viewers as well for tuning in with us. And uh, this is Roberto Miranda for uh, Covenant for New England. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Be blessed and until we meet again.